welcome to all of you today we will talk about carbon encapsulated material these materials are growing very fast of course it has been discovered uh, nearly 28 years ago or more than that so when we uh, talk about any encapsulation first image comes in our mind is capsules like medicines but this is something different so this class will be very important in a general prospects especially for the beginners and the general public who are not very specialized in science and technology especially in material science and engineering so this material also called as carbon encapsulated nano material carbon encapsulated metal nano particles and carbon nano capsules sometimes also refer as very general carbon nano capsule but be uh, very careful if there is a term nano capsule then they are another class of material because nano capsule mostly comprises oil or aqueous solution they are enclosed within a polymeric thil film so then we will call as a nano capsule but in case of carbon encapsulated material the condition is metal and carbon so let's see this material first discovered by redney rock and his co-worker and it was a lanthanum carbide professor redney rock is very famous and one of the a uh, most uh, 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 respected scientist in carbon material uh, carbon material research and he is also one of the uh, one of the prominent researcher on graphene and graphene oxide he popularized graphene and graphene oxide in different field of science and engineering he is uh, he is an american uh, scientist but presently working in uh, south korea so the term as indicate there is a three basic term in this material nano capsule and metal so nano nano means sir billionth part of a meter in indian numbers we be talking about 10 crore part of 1 meter so size must be in this range so maybe 10 to 500 nanometer we will talk about it then capsule something contain something has a container as a upper layer and in uh, inside something and other material and that is metal so nano capsule metal these are three basic component of carbon encapsulated nano materials so let's talk about some very common general prospect uh, why they are very important be very careful and uh, be very careful and uh, uh, do not uh, take it as as a special uh, attention for this particular material but it is a for the example suppose we have steel and different kind of iron so the basic problem after a time they they, they suffer with the corrosion they also suffer with the acids and uh, and uh, badly affected by different acids and bases and also they when they use in building material with time they lost the mechanical strength and chemical stability so for uh, to, for the same we have different kind of paints and oils and lubrication according to need we use it and in different industries different uh, different kind of lubrication and painting agent is used to protect these material but these encapsulated material may be a very excellent alternative of such kind of protection so let's uh, let's have a very general uh, general prospect about fabrication of carbon nano capsules that consists of metal suppose so just for example is so for learning for the general people uh, uh, general public suppose here we have iron so we first we have to convert in a nano material form so range must be 100 uh, 100 to 500 or uh, 0 to 100 meter uh, 100 nanometer 
so then we have to encapsulate encapsulate means we have to cover this uh, this metal particle this iron metal particle by carbon so now this become core metallic core and this become carbon cell please we will talk in the next lecture when we will start classes uh, about these nanometer particularly for fabrication and characterization synthesis and production they will be talk in a more so this carbon must be in a crystalline crystalline form of course uh, amorphous carbon can be used for the encapsulation but properties will not be uh, very excellent in case of uh, crystalline carbon the properties will be outstanding and th that we will discuss in the next slide so this is the basic idea how to fabricate this material we must need nanoparticle uh, uh, metal particle in nanomaterial range then we have to encapsulate using carbon now for uh, so for, uh, for your better understanding now this material this uh, carbon metal nano capsule become this is core and this is your carbon cell when i was in poland there was a very famous fruit i cannot recall now here we can uh, compare with a metal core and this is our carbon cell so now this material is like that we have cell and we have core so next what is the significance of this material so when we coat any metal maybe carbon uh, sorry maybe uh, iron maybe copper maybe cobalt this series of materials so when we uh, cover it by the uh, nano carbons then it become highly stable in air suppose iron is not stable in uh, in water and moisture but when we coat you can become very tremendous uh, stable it become stable in a different kind of acids it become magnetic susceptible so suppose it is not uh, talking about iron suppose cobalt is iron, uh, some mag uh, magnetic properties person but it cannot be used in solution but if we coat it by carbon then it can be uh, used uh, in solution as a magnetic particle so it enhance the uh, application of metals and metallic particle in a series of solutions solids and in different atmosphere with amazing fundamental properties we can accept we can enhance the uh, electrical properties magnetic properties chemical stability and uh, susceptibility different kind of and uh, we can also use uh, use this carbon coating as an encapsulation as a protective layer so corrosion resistance also as good example and most example that mostly material chemistry and uh, chem chemistry person is uh, so very uh, love this property so easy functionalization so what is easy functionalization suppose this is our carbon core suppose for example this is cobalt it is very difficult to produce uh, just uh, just uh, functionalize or put a functional group here so very difficult but if you coat it it is it is uh, encapsulated with carbon you can uh, you can uh, just put a ample of a functional group as per your requirement so this is a wonderful properties this functionalization seems very uh, very easy and very uh, it's not a big deal but functionalization especially putting some carbon uh, carbon based uh, functional group on metallic but it's a very big deal and the, and this capsulation so make the uh, metals so very uh, very very applicable in different field of uh, science and engineering so for example uh, if we if we if we consider as one application suppose we are talking about we use a different kind of artillery and guns and tops so for example we are using this uh, and it's a different kind of very good alloy and all those things but suppose after 1000 fire this diameter is getting increased what will happens efficiency of this weapon will decrease and we cannot change this very expensive weapon after uh, uh, 1000 uh, 1000 uh, fire so we need a very good material so it has been tested if we coat or we fabricate this portion of weapon using carbon encapsulated material then this uh, this uh, use time may be 10000 or 1 lakh time 
and that has been tested in different laboratories. So this is the one of the best application of carbon encapsulated material. Another example, if we see drug delivery, I'm not very ex uh, expert of this, uh, this area, but when we are taking any medicine, especially by, uh, especially by oral way, then what happens? Its dissolubility, its solubility and adsorption depends on pH. So suppose there is a name, there is a, uh, if we, we have to take a medicine and it is a metallic, in, there is a lot of metal, then what will happen? They can easily dissolve in all over our body so, uh, uh, before reaching to the target point. But if we can coat it a particular carbon with the functionalization, then at a particular point, it can reach and dissolve in a particular uh, uh, position. So the efficiency of that medicine can be increased uh, 100 times more than that. And we require in a very minimum amount of medicine. So this is the one of the very uh, growing application of carbon encapsulated material. Another example, we are, we are very aware with the MRI and CT scan. These are very fantastic technique to, uh, uh, to, to imagine the internal function and internal disorders in our, in, in our body. So what is the basic principle of this? Uh, before this, uh, this, uh, uh, this imaging, uh, the, the laboratory, the laboratory in pathology, they inject something in our body that, that is fluorescent in nature. So fluorescent in nature, and then by using the machine, they check where is the fluorescent uh, material is in our body. But the present fluorescent material are not very efficient. Suppose this one is a the classical one that is used in the uh, that uh, that is uh, that is presently used in different laboratories. So here, so there is no clarity that where is the all fluorescent material. But if we use this carbon uh, encapsulated waste particle, it's a very easily can go to each part and we can get very clear image. Means efficacy efficiency of MRI and CT scan can be. Mm -hmm tremendously increase using such material and there is a lot of paper has been published on these things that these materials can be a very good excellent alternative of the present traditional material in MRI, CT scan and other imaging techniques. More importantly, they are not very toxic and the toxicity can be controlled on the basis of encapsulation. So please share it, like and give your support and share with others. We are coming with a lot of uh, good uh, videos about science and technology uh, for general people, beginners, and also we are preparing our lectures for the B.Tech, M.Tech, and other specialized classes that the preparation of lecture in process. Thank you very much.